Hello everyone, in this video I will talk about Q from the collections framework in Java. So let me first explain what is a Q. In real world example, let's say this is a ticket counter. So this is ticket counter. And you know people stand in queue to get their tickets. Let's say some people are standing over here to get their tickets. So you can see the person who enters first in the queue is the person who is going to get the ticket first. So once this person gets the ticket, he is going to get out. So this person goes out. Now new person comes in from the rear. And this person who is at the first is going to get his ticket and then get out. So you can see that there is only one way to get inside and only one way to get out. So this is the basic principle of queue. Let's say this is a queue and this is the start of the queue. And this is the rear end of the queue. The only way to put elements into the queue are from the rear and only way to remove something from the queue is from the start of the queue. So this is the basic principle that a queue follows. So the principle which we have discussed is called first in first out. Anything that goes first inside the queue, the person who enters the queue first is the person who is going to get out first. And that is what first in first out means. So now let's see how we can declare a queue in Java. So this queue is a interface in Java. Since queue is an interface, we cannot directly create a queue. Hence, we will use something called linked list. Let, let me give you the syntax for queue and then I'll explain it better. We'll say queue. We'll tell the type of elements which we are going to put inside the queue. In this case, let it be integer. I'll say integer. So this queue can only contain integer values. Let me name the queue as queue. We'll use new keyword. And here instead of mentioning queue, we will be using linked list. Now again angle brackets, then finish it with a curly brackets and then done. So this is how you declare queue in Java with the help of linked list. We can also use something called priority queue in this place, but let's not get into that. Now let's see a few methods in queue. So the first one which we are going to see is add function. Using this method, we are going to add the values inside the queue. So let's say this is our queue's name. So I'm using queue.add and I'll put some integer value. Let me say one. So if this is a queue, the value one is added from the rear into the queue. So let me now add few more elements. Let's say I add two. So now two will get added over here from the rear. So now two is also inside the queue. Let me add few more values. So now our queue will look something like this. So these are the value inside the queue. And this is the method add to add some values inside the queue. Now let's talk about one more function which is called remove. So if I use this remove function, what will happen? As I have discussed, Q is nothing but FIFO, which is first in first out. So if I say Q dot remove, what should happen? I said in Q, the values from the first will be deleted. So when I say Q dot remove, the value which is present at the start of the queue will get deleted. So now our queue is left with the values 2, 3 and 4 after the execution of this line. So this is how uh, the function remove works. Let's now discuss about a function called peak. Peak is a function which is going to look inside the queue and see which element is present at the start of the queue. So this is how we use it. We'll say Q dot peak and this will give us an output that is 
the first element of the queue so in this case the first element is 2 so this is the output which we'll get for peak function let us see one more function which is called size this function as the name suggests which will give you the size of the queue if i say q dot size so in this queue you can see we have three elements one two and three so the output which it will give is three so quick recap we saw how to declare a queue in this video then we saw a few methods we saw the method add to add values inside the queue then we saw remove this is going to remove the first element from the queue because queue follows first in first out principle then we saw the method peak which is going to just look at the first element in the queue and give it as output then we saw the method size which will give the actual size of the queue which we have that's all for this video if you learned something from my video please leave a like and consider subscribing to my channel thank you